Hey, what's up on my Pisces people? You have reached my channel, Royal Revelations, and I am BJ Royal. All right, you guys. So, I am coming to you guys today with an update, okay? I've been away. I had my baby. Yay. So, now I'm just giving you guys an update right now, okay? So, this is for anybody with Pisces placements in their chart. I'll tell everybody tarot card readings. So I like advice. You either take it or you leave it. Either way, that's fine with me. It may not be a message for you, but it's definitely a message for somebody. Any cards that I use or any information about personal readings is going to be listed in the description box below. Okay. Um, I don't know if I should take it all. Um, because I really just want one card. But you got the five of pentacles and the two of pentacles. And then the Jack of Clubs. But I just want one. So that's Seven of Pentacles energy. Let's see if any of that comes up here in your reading. But let's just get one card. Let's just get one for all my Pisces people. Now you got like three. The Joker, the Nine of uh, Spades, and the Three of Diamonds. Hold on, let me just one spirit. I don't know why. Oh. <laughs> so this is what fell out of the table. Hold on. Now, if I can't get one out, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it in. Pick one. I feel like I got a lot going on, Pisces. Let's see. Maybe I should have just took the two. Okay, well, two came out this time. I guess I'm going to take it. Um, You have the Joker here. To me, he's like, oh, like, don't drop the ball. Two of Pentacles is out here, that two of Diamonds. So that's kind of like juggling energy. So we have the Nine of Swords, which is the Nine of Spades, and then the Three of Pentacles. So somebody could have... um like literally drop the ball you were supposed to be working together or you're something that you thought you were going to be doing with somebody else and you're now doing alone or something you're juggling all three things at one time because the three of diamonds is to me correlates to the three of pentacles so it's teamwork right but here i feel like he's handling all the pentacles on his own so this might be a, a feeling of overwhelming. Maybe that's why all those cards kept coming out because maybe you are just like overwhelmed. Okay, the devil. Maybe that's why you're overwhelmed. Overwhelmed with temptation, exhaustion. I feel like you guys are exhausted because I feel like you might be running around. It's fire energy. He's lighting the fire at the end of his tail. So I feel like you've been like on the go or you've been trying to make something work, trying to make something work. And I feel like you're kind of like giving up, like throwing in the towel. Not necessarily like a give up energy like that, but like I, I, I feel like you're throwing in the towel. Let's get some placements. Let's get some placements. So it's Capricorn because you have you worried or it's Capricorn because I told you like we're going to work together. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Or this could be some of your placements. We're pulling some now, though. So we got the Chiron healing. So whatever that is overwhelming you, I feel like maybe somebody helps you like pick up some of the slack that somebody else hasn't been doing. You have Mars, Force, Aries, and Scorpio energy. Capricorn, I use... Jupiter benefits, Jupiter return benefits, and then you have fifth house creativity, Leo. So, um, somebody's sun, of course, or their Jupiter or their Chiron. Um, it could be Capricorn, Pisces, Aries, 
Scorpio or Leo. Let's see. Let's see what y'all got going on. Whew. I'm going to be honest with you. Somebody might be trying to force something to make it work. It's just not happening. Somebody is also a user. Where somebody is using like a manipulative tactic for their own personal benefit. What's Chiron? Two of Swords in reverse. Queen of Pentacles. I'm getting like... There's nothing you have to do. Um, it's like the universe comes in and picks up this slack. It's like all of a sudden, like things are like getting, yeah, kind of fixed. Okay, look at here. We got the devil again, double Capricorn, then the nine of cups. So somebody could have like double Capricorn placements or their Mars could be in Capricorn. So somebody could be thinking about uh, eating right or forcing. Okay, one thing I'm getting is like anorexia or maybe bulimia. Somebody's like bulimic or something, which which is the one that somebody like overeats and then they like stick their, like they make themselves throw up. I'm also hearing like blood brothers, so this could have something to do with a brother or because look at that his hand, the devil's hand, it looks like it's it's been cut or something. You know how people like cut their hands and like will forever be together and like shake on it or some shit. I guess that was before like <laughs> diseases, right? Not really, but whatever. Ten of Pentacles. Something is lucrative though. Although this may all of this may be going on. It's it's something very lucrative. You have the Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this Capricorn be lying. Whoever this Capricorn is. They fuck up a lot. And I think that's their language. Their love language. Like, look, I fucked up. But, yeah. What's the Jupiter return? Six of Swords. Like, somebody is, uh, I'm hearing... Baby, won't you come back to me? Brian McKnight. Yeah, two of cups. Do I ever cross your mind? Anytime. No. <laughs> What's the two of swords? The king of cups in reverse, yo. But you. Okay. So this person could have been making you feel some type of way, manipulating you. Your energy, like, you just, I feel like you're just exhausted. You're dropping the ball, like, you're forgetting stuff. Like, your memory could be, like, a smoker. Or this person could be a smoker. I feel like somebody's memory is gone. but Or somebody is just, like, or somebody is trying to alter how somebody else is remembered. Somebody else remembers somebody. No, nah, no, nah, it's not that. Like, it's not that. It's it's not what you think. Like, somebody is trying to convince you or something to try to make the situation better. The, give me one more for the Knight of Cups in reverse. The Eight of Wands is here in reverse. It's kind of that energy of where, like, you're like a kid or a teenager or something. Like, you're still maybe under your parents' roof or something. And um, you say... You need help with something, right? Your parents and like it's like you get them to help you, like maybe get out of a mess, but you don't tell them the whole story or something. But then they figure everything out. What's the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Wands in reverse? Yeah, somebody figures it out. It's like somebody puts the puzzle pieces together. Still six of one. Somebody try to play somebody because that eight and four is twelve in reverse. Minus six is twelve in reverse. I mean minus twelve minus six is negative twelve plus six is 
negative six. Okay, so still, it's the six of wands energy, but then it's also the six of wands in reverse energy here as well. You have two sixes here. Give me one more for the six of swords, Jupiter. Returns, benefits, the strength card in reverse, Leo energy. You also have eight of swords energy here too. So I feel like somebody, let me get the correlation between the two devils. What are the two devils? The magician in reverse. Okay, I'm telling you. Highly manipulative individual. It's like he can't even really conceal himself. Nine of Wands. Somebody is like a man ho. Oh, I meant to get one of these. These are my um postcard cards. Let's see how it wraps up this energy, Pisces. The world, okay. Drake energy. Okay. Cream. It says my high school reunion might be worth an appearance. Make everybody have to go through security clearance. Okay, so three or five to my city, nothing was the same, period. This is the world energy. Virgo was also here. Cream, casuals, everything around me. So this person could be all about their money or something. Drinking and driving. So be careful about drinking and driving. Somebody, some of you guys might be traveling. Was that please don't kill my vibe like i feel like maybe you guys get away or something or somebody helps you get away they're like come to my city come on like i got you like don't worry about nothing like we straight <laughs> we straight okay Let's, let's erase this energy. Let's see what else y'all got going on. Whoever, hopefully whoever is dropping this ball can kind of get the pieces back together. But I doubt it. I feel like you see a lot with this person. Also, I was seeing that this person might go through like a financial hardship or something. Like, because after this, like, nothing, literally nothing is the same. Four of Wands energy, home energy, and the Queen of Diamonds, okay? So, Queen of Pentacles energy. <laughs> so, to me, the Queen of Diamonds all in in this deck is also, like, gives me Queen of Swords energy because of her straight face. She has a real good poker face. Really good poker face. So somebody might be like, but I ain't got it. <laughs> but they got it. <laughs> I ain't got it. It look like you got it. I ain't got it though. <laughs> so you might be rejecting somebody or something like that. Hold on, what's this? Give me one card. I don't know. It's like, here we go. We got two and three cards. Okay, so it was the tower and the page of wands but let me just get one the tower was in reverse uh-huh yeah same energy though knight of swords here and the five of wands so i'm like you ain't got it what you mean you ain't got it blah, 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 blah. Like, okay who the fuck are you ma'am or sir like fall back like i see an argument or something it could be in regards to home it could be in regards to some money or something i do see some money like maybe coming in fast some of you guys are doing like uh maybe renovations or something like that and it could like um or you could even be considering moving but i feel like it's causing some type of a conflict or so like if you have like um 
what can I call it? Like construction people, contractors and stuff like that. I feel like it could be some type of like if if you're in real estate or if this is your personal home or if you're moving, it could be something wrong with the contract or contractors. You have the sun here. I'm hearing it's getting hot in here. So like the heat or the air conditioner unit could be going out. You have knee deep. I forgot who got that energy. Was it Capricorn? No, it was Aquarius, I think. Let's get some placements. Water element sensing Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Your energy, of course. Okay, Mercury, mind. I got my mind and my money and my money and my mind. Rolling down the street, smoking in though, sipping on gin and juice. Pisces, I believe. Lay back. With my mind on my money and my... I'm telling you, the Queen of Pentacles, Mercury, mind. I got my mind on my money. And to me, it looks like it might be Mercury that he's holding, but it definitely gives me Earth energy. So, mind on my money. Yeah, no pun intended. Jupiter return benefits. Okay, so I'm telling you, whatever this is, however it plays out with Virgo, I analyze. So your north node or south node could be Pisces or Virgo, or of course, vice versa, um, or your other sign. So uh, Mercury is giving me Gemini energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could have multiple water placements. You could have Leo in your chart. Let's see. Ooh. Serious energy. Okay, so water element. Oh, there's three. I just need one. I don't know why y'all trying to give me so many. I feel like y'all got a lot to say. This Mercury mine. Storm, unexpected water element sensing. You know, I was picking up this energy actually for uh, Capricorn. I was getting like a flood, a natural disaster, or a storm or something. I'm hearing, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. What's Mercury mine? epiphany breakthrough yeah and you know i feel like you needed to see this or you need to experience this because like i said i feel like somebody is trying to come for you and you needed this it's like i feel like some of you guys was waiting oh i've been waiting on you to say something as a matter of fact <laughs> actually okay Renewal, spark, renewal, and that's for Pisces energy. Let's see one more. Jupiter return benefits, thoughts, or isolation, and growth, summer. So, I'm hearing hot girl summer, okay? Or right on time. You was acting up right on time for a hot girl summer. This blessing came in. This money came in right on time for the hot girl summer. Or hot. Hot boy summer, however you want to put it. Keep it high. Yes, the sun. Leo, keep it high. It's Kehlani. Sweet, what is it? Sweet, sexy, and savage, yeah. So, what's the storm? Unexpected water element sensing. There's too many. It's just not going to let me live. Okay, so y'all definitely need to take check out Capricorn if you got it in your chart. Two of Swords here and the I guess I maybe I put them I thought I shuffled, but this was two readings ago. Hmm. 
I'm picking up that same kind of natural disaster kind of energy. It's the reflection. It's like the reflection of like, okay, this could be self-reflection or a reflection of everything that's going on. This is the third time the devil has popped up. Give me one more for the devil. This devil bothers me. Out of the, all the other devils in the decks, this is the first time I'm seeing him. But he bothers me. Look how he up there. So don't be scared. I mean, even though it bothers me. So don't be scared to take a leap of faith or something or to take a risk. The risk may be a little bit more beneficial than you think. What's the devil here? Because it's like either move on or stay here in this chaos or flood or whatever this is. Give me one more for the devil. It's the eight of wands here and the three of swords. I'm here and I run to that. I can't even look at you no more. Like I feel like you're giving somebody literally a piece of your mind. Like literally a piece. What's renewal? The hangman. Time is up. Yeah. It's happening. Like, now. I, somebody sold they sold to the devil. And their spirit is leaving. Oh, my God. I'm about to cleanse this energy and put this shit up. Mm. I before I could get it out of my mind, I said somebody's spirit leaving their body. <sighs> Look at the snake. They sold their soul to the devil. That's Adam and Eve. Temptation. They gave in. Somebody tried to warn somebody. If somebody warned somebody a long time ago with this hangman here about something, you have the five of cups here. Somebody's crazy. Cause look look at that crazy lady. This is like literally the five of cups energy. But look how I feel like she's doing. I mean, yeah, it's the brighter side, but I almost feel like this person is like like pretending just to like get back in your graces or something. Give me one more. Somebody sold they sold to the devil. I'm not playing. Three of swords, queen of swords. You remember I picked up that energy? Poker face. Yeah, poker face. Somebody's sitting here acting like everything is all good, but in reality, they feel some type of way. Seven of Swords. I thought it was the three. It's actually the seven. So it's thoughts and isolation. Like I feel like you get away. Like as soon as you get this blessing or something, like you get away just to be able to think or kind of figure things out. I feel like this is right on time, especially with this renewal energy. I feel like something you get something or something. Like, yeah, somebody is coming back. This shit is kind of scary. I don't know if I really like using these cards. Uh, it's like you see a ghost or somebody. Somebody coming back from the dead. Like you ain't think you'll ever hear from this person again. I'm hearing that. Uh, song. I've been thinking about you. 
do you think about me still? Do ya, do ya? Oh. Yeah, I'm, look at this shit, y'all. I'm not, I can't. Um, look at, this is the Ten of Swords. But look how he frozen down here. But it came out this position. And he's unthawing. So something is like brewing for this person to like come back. Seven of Pentacles is here. And Knight of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. And the Ace of Cups. Hold on. I don't really like how... This card, I don't know how I want to come out, but it was like this. And I'm real particular about people's hands, so I feel like somebody's hands are really dirty or... They got, like, dirt under their nails or something like that. The Emperor, Aries energy. Um, let me ask this. Tell me what the sun is in correlation to the Queen of Pentacles. The world tried to come out. Mm. The Page of Cups. I'm hearing we got something in common. And the Fool in Reverse. But I feel like it's a short-lived romance or something or something um doesn't last long or something like that some type of agreement or with the sword energy it could be a contract or something is very short-lived um for some people it's literally The devil is here taking back. So whoever sold their soul, and this literally doesn't mean sell their soul, but somebody could have did something for personal gain, personal benefit, or they could have just been manipulative, lying, or whatever the case may be. And I feel like the devil is here, like, trying to take it back. Like, now nah, I gave you the opportunity. Now it's, it's time for to pay up, time for me to collect. There's too many, but you have ornithomancy, omen, and candle illumination. Handwriting, authenticity, and pendulum decision. All right, you guys, so Pendulum says, no, I'm sorry, I'm looking for what came right, handwriting. It says, it is time to reveal the real you. You may know yourself, but do you let anyone else know the true you? You may feel desperate to be yourself, but have worn a mask for so long that you are now worried how friends, family, and colleagues will react if you stop acting the way they expect you to act. You may have embodied the role of people pleaser or entertainer trying to be all things to everyone. If you show your true colors, will others treat you differently? Will you lose their respect or even their friendship? Ask yourself these questions and be completely truthful with your answers. Then decide whether you are brave, en brave enough to show your authentic face to the world. Try um, time to stop hiding your light. Stand up for your beliefs. Express your true self. Be an individual. Don't follow the crowd. Time to go with alone. Someone isn't being true to you or to themselves. And I can see that. 
all right you guys so please like share comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already if you have you already know i appreciate it so until next time y'all already know what it is i'll let it play on the tv street pimp bye